I repaired the fan in my truck about five years ago, and I guarantee I've driven at least 50,000 miles, so it's not like it's been sitting in the garage as well. If you'll notice, the fan has almost every one of them had a crack in it. See, if you look, there's always some glue somewhere, I guarantee you, because I was doing it, because there's a crack, like you can tell that's a big crack. The hard part is, is just being patient, because you don't have to take anything apart. It's a fix anybody can do. All you have to do is, is make sure, common sense stuff, make sure you clean off the fans, oil, and stuff like that, if there's any of that in it. I personally took a push pen and some toilet paper and cleaned out the cracks as well before I poured the glue in. The glue I use is this two-ton epoxy right here. It comes in these two bottles. One's the epoxy, the red's the epoxy, the blue is the resin, and it's literally just a 50-50 mix. So all you do is, is pour. I personally like to do it this way, meaning just undo this, not cut the cap off. And then all you do is, is you pour 50-50. In other words, you pour some of this in, and then you guess and pour about the same amount of this in. And then I personally just take a paintbrush and stir it all up. Make sure you get it good and stirred so it's really um, mixed well. And then I just painted it in each of these cracks. But the reason I say you have to be patient is you can only do like the top three. Because if you try to do one that's and then move it like this, everything just runs for the first three or four hours of this um, two-ton epoxy. It just runs. I'll leave an Amazon link to this epoxy down below. So, just a little tip. I just take Taco Bell cups, whatever you got. Take a razor blade. Cut the bottom half off. And then, of course, took toilet paper. Dry it out before I pour the glue in. And it really is that simple. This is a scene on fixing some fan blades to a pool motor. Two of these blades were completely broke off. Click on the thumbnail while the moon is setting. It'll take you to this video showing you how I fixed this fan. These fans spin at 3400 RPM and the blades were completely broken off. Yet, this two ton epoxy fixed it. This is Ron from Fixing Stuff in Black and White, signing off.